Hello and welcome to my channel. I will talk about recently released Junkers now. So no time to waste, let's begin. Please subscribe and leave a like if the video helped you. By looking at exterior modeling we can see very impressive details all over the place. Every single detail is done with care. 3D modeling and texturing is of highest standards. Wherever you look, you see that it looks stunning. That's a good start. Going into the cockpit now, we see same level of visual detail everywhere. The instruments, seats and everything else looks absolutely stunning. There's even a modeled cabin. Now in 1939 version everything in the cockpit is in German. It's a very unusual cockpit too, so you will need some time to adapt and learn where everything is. Like for example, landing light location is so weird that you would never guess it. Speed is in kilometers per hour, altitude is in meters and kilometers too. So sometimes it might be challenging to fly when you are used to knots and feet. Renovated version looks a bit different and instrument placement looks more familiar. It also has two nav radios and it looks like a more traditional, convenient cockpit overall. But let's go back to the original version. Starting up the plane isn't hard. It's just the whole procedure and switches are really weird and stand out from any other airplane. Well, the fuel indicator is in a pretty convenient spot outside. Cool. So it's fun, really fun starting this plane up. It's not steady level obviously, but everything in the cockpit works, although most stuff is just visual and has no impact on anything. You can use the included checklist and you can skip few steps and the plane will start just fine. But as I said, the whole cockpit is very impressive and it will take some time to memorize it. It handles very well takes off like a kite and floats a lot while landing. I have no idea if this is realistic or not. After all, it's a very old plane made for carrying a lot of stuff. It might be that empty plane really was like a kite. Maybe not so drastic as it is here, but still a possibility. Don't forget to load the plane with passengers when you start. It becomes heavier and you can feel it. In the air it is very stable, it's easy to keep a stable flight. There's some antique autopilot system which can hold the heading. Keep in mind this plane is really really slow. There's one nav radio to help you navigate from and to VOR stations. It works well and is very fun to fly this way. Well, you can't fly it any other way anyway. Having only one nav radio makes it even more challenging. 
so is this worth a buy definitely yes the price is 15 euros you will not find anything of such high quality for that price obviously don't expect a steady level or perfectly realistic representation of the systems and flight dynamics but for what it is it's great if you want something completely different in your hangar or you are just into antique planes just get it you can buy it on marketplace and it's available for pc and xbox thank you for watching safe flights to you all and bye